So the Davis Project for Peace is a $10,000 grant. Um, and one of the great things about the Davis is it's very open, very ambiguous. They don't define peace, you get to define it for yourself. Individuals can create projects that they think are promoting peace around the world. My project was teaching kids in Rwanda a non-violence and peace curriculum. We spent eight weeks in Rwanda teaching over 200 students um, creative ways to talk about conflict resolution and peace. I think one of my favorite lessons that we taught that was very, so much chilling, um, was something that I learned in this program called Alternatives to Violence. You have a series of stickers with dots on them. Half the kids we gave red dots, half the kids we gave green dots. We had them close their eyes, we didn't explain what we were doing, we just put something on your forehead. And then they got up and we said, okay, go to the back of the room and find where you belong. Every time they divided by color. Then you get to ask, so why did you decide you had to divide by color? Why was this your place? I'd say even all of them are old enough to realize what happened during the genocide. You can see the realization as they figure out that these things can happen without you even realizing it. Um, that you can divide by differences um, without even really noticing what you're doing. Having those moments together where you're all realizing these things, it was, it was pretty powerful. I was actually really astonished by how well our lessons went over. Um, the kids seemed to love it and then we started hearing reports back. The secretary had been doing rounds and talking to people's families and you know, she started talking to our students' families and they just asked her, they were like, what did the white people, what did the white people do? Our kids are different. And apparently the kids had really internalized some of the lessons and were cooperating with their siblings, they were teaching their siblings, they were telling some of the same stories. By the time we got to the eighth week of the project, a lot of the kids had heard our stories already. As part of our lessons, we gave them these little, these little index cards that had sort of like tips, tips to remember during conflict resolution processes, like if you get in a fight, just even simple things. And actually we found out that when we left the kids, if there was a fight in like the barracks where they were staying, someone would pull out their card and they'd talk about it. People reported that the kids who used to steal from them stopped stealing from them. So it was pretty incredible how much of a difference I think we were able to make in a short time. There are very few grants that let a college student plan a project of this magnitude, especially if you partner with an organization that lets you do what you want. You have so much responsibility and so much creative power. You can do whatever you want. There's so many different ways to visualize what peace is and how you can better a community. It's really exciting. And you can really, it's, it's so good to feel like you've made such a huge difference.